My name is Danny and I'm a 33 year old events manager. I make cider from waste apples. I live in a village in Devon where every house seems to have at least one apple tree. Lots of fruit was going to windfall. The local waste management crew does their best, but we've decided to help out with the surplus. My daughter and I go out picking local gardens and orchards five or six times during the autumn. Hello! Although we can't save it all, we turn as much as possible into juice or cider with the excess getting composted or left for the fauna. To help balance the amount of cooking and eating apples I receive, I've grafted some traditional cider varieties in our small garden. The fruit is checked for rots, washed, and then pulped using a mill and a very technical 2x4. The pulp is built into a cheese using layered plastic wax and netting. The press was made from surplus sleepers and a car jack. After it's pressed, the juice is strained and collected in various containers. I do a few experiments with one gallon demijohns and the rest goes into a 220 litre fermenter. Sugar and acidity is measured so the alcohol content may be calculated. An airlock is fitted to keep oxygen and bacteria out and to allow CO2 to escape during fermentation. As wild yeast eats the fruit sugars, the sugar level drops and the alcohol level rises. Fermentation takes around four weeks. The cider is then matured for six months and bottled in the spring ready to enjoy.